All right, I'm going to be reviewing today the Nomad 7 by Goal Zero uh, that comes with the Guide 10 Plus and the uh, the Adventure Kit. I'll go ahead and start by showing you the uh, the Nomad 7. It comes, as you can tell, it's about. Uh, I'll give you the sense of the size of it just based on my my hand here. It does come reinforced on the corners here with some uh, small. Looks like it's three to four millimeter cord, and I'll go ahead and open it up. It's got a really strong Velcro closure here right on the front, and uh, the photovoltaic cells are, are here. I'll go ahead and see if I can catch that here. And um, it is waterproof according to their website, and I found it pretty, uh, pretty strong. I've used it on several occasions, of course, to, to charge uh, bags full of batteries uh, that are backup for emergency use for my ham radio. but. It's got a few different things that I like, one of which is the Velcro closure that I'll show you here. I'll go ahead and rotate it over. It does come with a uh, little area here in the back that zips up. Uh, this mesh area, I didn't fully understand what it was for initially, but it's really convenient. And I'll explain kind of how that works. But if you'll look here, you've got the um, this solar port. You've got on this far end, you have a uh, port that's for the 12 volt uh, charging. And on this other side as well, uh, there's a small little teeny port here for the main power cable uh, that plugs into the Guide 10 Plus battery pack, as well as the uh, the USB port here. I'll go ahead and uh, show you how this works. Here's the, the Guide 10 uh, battery pack here. I'll go ahead and set it here. Essentially, the, the batteries just snap in like so. It's got a pretty firm firm closure here. And uh, you're, you're able to set this here. Or, uh, or rotate it so that this cabling uh, fits in appropriately and then it plugs just right in here. Uh, there's technically no on button. On just means um, it's on when it's plugged in. And uh, this will set here. You go ahead and of course zip up the case and uh, which can be tricky to do with uh, only one hand. But in any event it zips up and then when it's setting up, I'll show you upright, and uh, the panels are open, which they're not at the moment, um, all of your gear uh, sets in there. A couple things that I do like, you are able to chain, charge devices directly and charge two devices at the same time. So I could have my USB cable here, uh, which would um, set right inside uh, this area. Plug the USB right in. And uh, it's got power, of course, that's, uh, that's coming out of this end. And if you look as well with the 12 volt, um, you're able to plug in the 12 volt piece here. The current isn't quite enough to, to power things, obviously, that, that, to pull off many devices off a of 12 volt. But uh, this is the female adapter end. So if you've got uh, another adapter that goes in your car for a cell phone or other small devices, I found that the amperage wasn't quite enough when plugging in my cigarette lighter right into the uh, 1700 milliamp piece of my ham radio to work. But uh, I did find it works well. Uh, it does work well, as I showed you here earlier, with uh, the sunlight uh, in low light conditions and uh, well worth the value. It did also come with a AAA set uh, that actually stacks inside the Guide 10 Plus, of course without the batteries in it, and you're able to charge uh, these AAA batteries, which did not come. These are just some energizers that happen to charge really well uh, that I bought uh, retail. Uh, it did come with uh, the four Goal Zero 2300 milliamp batteries uh, with it. Looks like uh, their batteries are, are good for at least 100 cycles. One other thing I want to show you on the uh, the Guide 10 Plus with the four AA batteries in it is it's got, uh, if you look on the button here, right uh, right down in here, there is um, there's a, an off button which is a far left setting and then there's the uh, on button here which uh, obviously says green which indicates that there's a full charge on on the batteries and then there's an LED light function uh, which is actually pretty bright and would be great to use in different uh, emergency situations one of the things I liked if you look here at the uh, this USB port is I can plug my iPhone or other devices that uh, happen to charge by USB right into the battery pack and uh, it will charge uh, the iPhone up uh, within about an hour and you'll get a good clean charge. Uh, they do report that uh, this uh, Guide 10 Plus Adventure Kit with the Nomad 7 is iPad and Apple products compatible. I didn't find that was the case. It was a little tricky uh, plugging it in. Sometimes it wouldn't recognize it. Other times I would have to power off my device and power it back on and, and then I would get it to work. So it worked about 70% of the time. My recommendation would be that you charge the battery pack first and then just plug your device right in and charge off the battery pack as it's going to be a good clean charge uh, every time.